Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have just gotten back from the Like to Know It Style Conference. Today is Thursday. I got back kind of late last night after dark. And then I hurried up and unpacked all of my stuff. John cooked me some steaks. He has some roses waiting. And I finished up the video that Marnie and I did together. So I will post that up here. So between the two of us, we have, gosh, almost 30 years experience here on YouTube. So we just posted some tips. It won't be a video for everyone, but if you're just interested in some of our tips for starting a YouTube channel. And so today I was thinking, okay, what do I want to feature today? And by the way, I've missed you. It is so weird to be away from my channel because think about how much of a part of my life you are every day, all day. And I missed you. I miss my family, of course, my home, my kitties, but I did have a good time. What I thought I would do today is just show you some things that I got thinking I might take them with me, but they didn't make the cut. And then I'm going to do a whole separate video on the Like to Know It conference, going through my outfits and what we did and what I bought because I got some fabulous things. Matter of fact, yesterday when I was leaving the room, I looked back at all of my bags because packing was a beast. To tell you this, I am like the Delta, I don't know, what does it say? You're the sky priority or something. So I typically don't have to pay for any extra luggage or weight or anything. I had to pay $150 to come back. That's how much stuff I had stuffed in my luggage. And I used this travel duffel that I will link down below that has saved me so many times. And it packs real flat if you're like me and you might need some extra room. Let's start with Christian Audette, which by the way, when I was away, several of you asked me about the makeup I was wearing. You can see my eye is twitching because I am tired. I did not sleep a lot last night. Anyway, I wore today all of my makeup that I wore when I was away, except for the things that I'm going to feature today. So I will list them both. I will list what I was wearing and what I'm wearing today. I was going to try to do a whole video, but I just, I have so many that I want to do. I just thought I would do it today. When I got back, I had this from Christian Audette, a package, and she told me that she was gonna do this. She is actually from India. So black eyeliner is something that she is very familiar with and wanted to feature. And I felt this shaking, so I thought this was in here, but this is actually the sharpener. So let's look at the sharpener that's included. That's fancy. And if you haven't ever heard of Christian Audette, that is the company that I did my lip combo with. I've done two. My latest one is the Paradise Lip Liner, which I have on right now, and the Golden Hour Lipstick, which is the lipstick I wore throughout the conference. I might have started out with that and then topped it off with something else later, but I always either had just that combination on or I might have put a little something over just when it wore off, just to switch it up. That's usually the way I do lip combos. It starts off with one and then I might layer or change it. I'm just crazy like that. Here is the card that was sent out. The liner is called Panther and she says, Christian Audette celebrates the unique contributions and courage of the brave immigrants who have come to the USA and made it stronger, better, and more beautiful through the American Palette Collection. We are excited to launch our campaign with Panther, the almond eyeliner. This eyeliner pays tribute to India, the birthplace of our founder, Sweetie Christian Audette, and South Asia's rich history and culture. And then this is the Panther liner. It is smooth and black coal. Then she also sent me these rings with it. Oh my gosh, can you stand it? The Panther rings. So I will link this product down below along with my lip combination. My code is Lisa10 for 10% off and thank you to Christian, to Sweetie Audette for sending that to me. I just looked in the mirror just to make sure because I haven't even looked in the mirror before I started this video and I saw I have a brush hair on my cheek so excuse that. But speaking of brushes, Lisa J was at the conference and she is the founder of BK Beauty Brushes, which I told her I am so proud of her. I remember her talking about this company and showing us the, you know, prototype brushes and daggone if she didn't do it. Lisa, I'm so proud of you. And this is the Angie Hot and Flashy Collection in a travel set. Look at that. 
Her brushes are fabulous and I love a travel brush. I know one brush that I wore out was the MAC 217 in the travel. It's kind of like I like a travel mascara. I think that just getting that close up like to your eyes, it's not like you miss the handle. I just love it. So thank you to Lisa for sending that to me. I would say this is one of my favorites, the A502. This little brush here for the eyes and then the concealer brush, they're all good. So I will list this down below. And look at this case. That is fancy and fabulous. I love that. So I will list this down below along with my discount code. Then I thought I would just mention this. I did get the newest iPhone. The reason I do that and I always get the newest one is because I want the best camera because I use it nonstop. So I did get the newest iPhone and the first cover I got was hot pink and I didn't like it. I just felt like it did not fit my vibe of the moment. So I ordered this one, which is from Casetify, but I ordered it from Amazon and you can get this. I think this got to me in a day two at the most and I really like it. It is plain Jane, but I think it's very sophisticated. I just like it. Okay, with that said, I had ordered this one knowing it was gonna take a while because I ordered this one from the website and you have to pick, you know, what kind of bumpers you want. And I do drop my phone. I drop it often and I have broken one without a case. So I needed one quick and then I could afford to wait on this one. You know, I like graffiti, I always have. I love magazines. I love fashion editorial art. And I saw this one and I just thought it was cool. It does have like the MagSafe. What does it say? Talk to yourself like someone you love. And I always say that. I say that to Brooke all the time. I tell her that and I tell her to parent herself. These are some of the things I say. Set yourself up for success. That I really liked and I like the way it looks. Clarins sent me a PR package. I didn't even know they were coming out with something. I think that they are king or queen. I think it's Clarins and Dior that really have the market on the lip oils. If I had to say the two that I go to most, but this is the Clarins Lip Stain. It is enriched with raspberry water and aloe vera. Clarins water lip stains are so lightweight, you forget you're even wearing them, but they last up to 300 kisses. So we've got violet, rose, orange, and red. Violet water. Oh, and they come with a brush. Okay, that's violet water. Rose water. That is beautiful. The next one is orange. That is no joke. They smell like raspberries too. And then the last one would be red. These have a lot more pigment than I thought. I had to decide what lip I wanted to do and I felt like this was something that so many of you would like. It's something new I picked up from MAC. And I didn't think these were gonna have that much color. So this is the red. So thank you, Clarins. I'm so excited. I'm gonna let these dry just for a moment, just so we can see what they do. Look at this PR package. It's from Lumify. Those are the drops that I use to get rid of redness in my eyes. Well, guess what? I ran out of it when I was out of town. You know, it's hard to pull off a trip with no mishaps. So let me just tell you what happened. First, I went to get my nails done and the same guy has been doing them now, I guess three or four times because my main lady has gone back to Vietnam for a couple of months. So he is the one that did my nails when I got the gel on my nails before I went to New Mexico and I got Lincoln Park after dark. Well, when I went back the next time, I decided there's just no way, I don't enjoy being there long enough to sit there with acetone soaking on my nails the whole time they do my pedicure. I just can't believe they haven't come out with a better way to remove them. They soak me in acetone for like an hour, then they scrape it off and I noticed my nails were still stained from that Lincoln Park after dark. But I figured who cares? Lisa, you knew better. We'll just paint over it. Well, the last time I went, he was doing my nails. He just took off the color I had on there. I think it was the Chanel Rouge Noir. And he said, Lisa, do you do hair? And I said, no. I said, that is the Lincoln Park gel left on my nails. He turns around and grabs the drill, that sanding drill. Right then, I knew better. 
I knew I needed to stop him, but I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just am always still, even at 53, never want to insult someone's intelligence, opinion, or expertise, and I let him do it. I let him sand off that Lincoln Park after dark, and then he painted my nails. Well, I got home, I painted Sesh Vite over all of them because I feel like it's better than what they use. I noticed later that night, I had a nick in one of my nails. I was like, that's weird. So I had to fix that one. Then another one, then another one. Then all of my nails were just chipping off. I mean, look at them now. This is after I painted them again myself with bubble bath. Because he sanded them, they're all thin and cracking off. So that was mistake number one. Number two, what did I forget? Oh, I went and got a travel Obagi skincare set. You know, trying to be so prepared. But what did I forget? My Retin-A. So I ended up getting a bump on my chin while I was gone and it makes a difference. My skin was oilier. So that was something else. I ran out of my Lumify drops. That's why my eyes are probably bloodshot along with being tired. I used the hair dryer that was there. Didn't have a nozzle on the end of it, which is not that big of a deal, but I'm funny about that. And anything else? I didn't take quite the shoes that I wish I would have taken, but here's the big mistake I made. I was so busy until the bitter end and I didn't try on my outfits. I'm trying to dry this. And I thought to myself, well, Lisa, you like all your clothes. So it isn't gonna matter. You like all your clothes. You like all your shoes. So I overpacked because I didn't have my outfits planned out and therefore I couldn't take all the shoes I wanted. So those are my mental notes for the next time. I did a lot of things right though. And we'll go over that in my like to know it. This is it's from Bausch and Lomb, and this is the Eye Illuminations 3-in-1 Micellar Water for Cleansing Eye Makeup. And I'm going to be trying all of these and then letting you know. And then they came out with a brightening eye cream, which I am just like the eye cream queen these days. And I will tell you, I am still loving the eye cream that I just started. I cannot remember the name. I'll put it in here. Because these stick so well, I did take the baggage the Wander Beauty, the gold ones, I mask and use those when I was away. And then they have the Lumify Eye Illuminations Nourishing Lash and Brow Serum, Peptides and Biotin, results in four weeks. So I appreciate this from them and I will give these a try and let you know how it goes. Designed to enhance your eyes natural beauty without irritation. Thank you to them. Tried to just wipe those off with a paper towel pretty roughly <laughs> and that's how they lasted so it looks like that first one which was a violet might have the best staying power but it was on there the longest and then the red which we know that okay so let's look at some things that i bought when i was gone this is makeup first of all remember last year i got covid on the way back that is the one and only time i have been sick even a sniffle since i started carnivore so I'm feeling pretty good. Hopefully nothing's going wrong, but I did that longest haul in history. I'll put that here where I showed everything I purchased when I was in Dallas, which they have some good shopping there. So it's gonna be another haul kind of like that because I got some good stuff and lots of it. So I'm gonna show you the makeup that I got. First of all, I bought this Victoria Beckham palette before I left and I got it the day before I left. This is the eyeshadow I had on in the video with Marnie. I had had that makeup on since 3 a.m. because I had to be at the airport at by four and we had to leave by four. When I made that video with Marnie, it was after I had flown all the way there and I think it was right around dinner time, late afternoon. So that makeup was old, but I figured, who cares? This is real life. So here is her signature palette. I don't know if you guys have watched any of her videos on Instagram, but this is what she uses as her daily palette. This is also what I have used today. So I have on the Christian Audette liner top and bottom, and then I have on this palette, and I love it, it is so good. 
This is a good every day. I love her makeup. I love her style. I love her vibe. I just love it. And I did just order some fragrances for us to try from Victoria Beckham. Then you guys, okay, ding, 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 ding. This is a must have product. This is something that wowed me. This is something I have told so many people about. I haven't tried anything like this in a long time. I was in Neiman Marcus. They didn't have my room ready when I got there, so the hotel driver took me to down the street to Neiman Marcus. While I was shopping, and the lady that was helping me was saying, I've got to show you this powder. Because I told her that, you know, when you walk in there, it's such an old, quiet store that the person that starts helping you helps you all over the store. So I told her, first I went to Chanel, and we'll get into that. I did buy something and return it. So we'll get into that in my like to know it haul video. And then I told her I wanted to look at bags. I wanted to look at shoes. I wanted to look at clothes and I wanted to look at makeup. And she said, oh, for the makeup, I've got something you're gonna love. When we went over there, she showed me this powder. It's Sisley and it's a blurring powder. It is the Blur Expert, and it, there's only two colors, and the one I am is one beige. I mean, when she put it on me, my makeup was so haggard from flying all day. It was breaking apart. It was just messed up. And she took a big brush. I've been using this one, and notice how it doesn't like flake all over the place. I'm just gonna try it here now and see. I don't know if you'll be able to see because I just used it, but it is the softest, most blurring powder I think I have ever tried. And it made my oily skin look phenomenal. And it made it look like it was fresh again. It's amazing. I used it every single day during the conference because I got it that first day and I just love it. It's amazing. I really feel like this is a must have. And this is a Sonia G Soft Cheek Brush from Beautylish, one of my favorite brushes. I went shopping again. I went shopping a few times with Lisa J and Amanda Luxwami. And Lisa J wanted to go into Blue Mercury, which was at that fancy mall. I think it's Westlake Village. And I saw this palette from Loon and Aster, and I got it. It's called the Celestial Nudes. Very smoky, very Victoria Beckham, very Kate Moss, very Bridget Bardot. All the looks that I love, I love it. This is the palette I wore on the last night that we went to the award ceremony. And then I also added the Victoria Beckham Navy Eyeliner on my lower lash line. And every night, all I did was just add makeup. I did not do my makeup over. So everything worked out well. At the Sicily counter, I also got this lipstick, Sheer Beverly Hills, number 13. So this could have been something also that I used that you may have seen. Very pretty, very much my vibe, our vibe, if you like the light lip. Very, very glossy, not quite as bad as like the Tarte lip creams or whatever that are in the, you know what I'm talking about. It's not quite that mushy, but along those lines. Okay, I do have some shoes to show you, so don't leave me. I stopped at the MAC store in the airport yesterday. Dallas Love is one of my favorite airports. It's got Whataburger. I don't know, there's just like a calm feeling. Because remember, everywhere I go, I have to either go through Charlotte or Atlanta which they are very busy, stressful airports. But when you go to Dallas Love Airport, it's just, I don't know, it's like a different vibe there. So I ate and then I, I ate a burger. I was not even that hungry. I had eaten breakfast, but I was not gonna pass up a chance to eat one more water burger. And then the Mac store was right across. So I went in there and they did not have the serum foundation, the Studio Skin or Studio Fix serum. So that was what I went in there for. I was going to get them to color match me, but I'll still try it if I can have someone help me. But I picked up Oyster Girl, which is an oldie, but a goodie, but it's along the same lines as Purr and Nymphette. I actually have it on today over my Christian Audette lip liner. They had a little section set up with the whole 90s lip. It was like a picture of a girl that looked like Naomi and some different 90s lips. And they had this one, which is Come Over, which is a matte lipstick. Their matte lipsticks aren't as bad as some. So that's what I have on first. 
And then I went over it a little bit with Yash, which is a classic. So it's not as pink as Come Over, but it might be a little bit more pigmented. And then I put a little bit of the Oyster Girl over that. Then I bought two of something I haven't tried before, the Power Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick. I bought the Spice World, a great formula. Now that might end up being too brown for me, but it was the only two that I was really interested in. And then Over the Taupe. Oh, that is a good one. See, Over the Taupe is a little bit pinker and not quite as brown, but both of them are really good. Yay, I'm excited about those. That'll be something fun to try. Then I got Blankety. Okay, we've all tried Blankety. I might even have an old Blankety, but I haven't worn it in so long. I know I probably needed a fresh one, but one of the girls at the conference, I loved her lip and it was Blankety. So I picked this up. Blankety, I love you. I forgot how fabulous, you forget how fabulous MAC in general is. And then they had these new eyeliner gel pencil eyeliner and they were bright colors and I just knew I wasn't gonna wear any of those and I didn't even like them enough to do a tutorial with them but I did this one this is the purpley one and it actually is prettier than I thought it's called graphic content and they're roll-up gel liners this one is very pretty I will wear that very soon so you can tell and then I was showing her a picture this is so funny I Get so inspired by the most random things. And when I was in that mall in Atlanta, they were working on a Celine store and it was a big like billboard type thing in front of the store and the girl's makeup, I just loved it. So I took a picture of it and I've been trying to kind of work on how to get that smoky look. The thing is I have big lids and it's hard to smoke out that big lid and it not be too smoky. But she suggested good old classic smolder, which is not for someone that doesn't want their liner to run or smudge. It's for the person that wants it to run and smudge. Kind of like the Kate Moss, Bridget Bardot, Victoria Beckham, all those smudgy type looks. So I grabbed it and I'm going to use it. I'm gonna smudge it and just show you. So it's gonna do that. Yay! Let me go makeup remove my hands real quick and I'll be right back. Wanted to tell you how much I love my luggage. I have never been a big traveler, of course, you know that, but now I travel a lot more. And I have gone through so many suitcases now and they either the zipper breaks the zipper thing breaks off it gets filthy oh that one i got from walmart i just thought that was the best deal it totally collapsed on me like collapsed in they couldn't handle the pressure but that pink what is it base b-e-i-s luggage it wheels like a dream it zips like a dream it's so easy to pack the sitting sponsored i paid full price for those but it was just something that i thought of every time i use it i think okay i see what the deal is with a good set of luggage then i don't know if you noticed that my hair was straight today and it was straight during the conference well i curled it before i left and then i took my babyliss curling iron with me because i can use that to curl regular or i can use it kind of as a wand and i just thought god i want something good i want something different the next day so Marnie had brought her flat iron and I'm going to link it down below and it's not this one. This is my T3. I have the T3. I have the Babyliss. I have the Chi. I have like all of these flat irons. None of them beat the one that she had. That flat iron, I could put it on 340, which is as high as I will ever go with any heat product or tool. One pass would get it. Now this morning I used this and there's something about these, I feel like the plates on this are too short and it just wasn't as easy. I don't really know a lot between this, that, what they're made out of, but I'm just telling you, I'm not a big flat iron proponent because I think it does damage your hair and I always use heat protection. I'll list it below, the Paul Mitchell. And so I do spray my hair with that. I'll do a tutorial when it comes in and let you see how good that thing is. I ordered it immediately. I had her send me the link on the plane yesterday. Let's get into something Funkalicious, fun, very diversive. This is going to definitely divide my audience, which that's okay. <laughs> 
These, I don't know. I mean, I might wear them one or two times. I might end up loving them. I might end up not loving them. But I was watching that documentary with Naomi Campbell and the Pretty Little Thing collab. And she walked in with a dress and her high top Nikes. She's known for wearing the high top Air Jordans. So I thought, I'm gonna go look at those because I did purchase three pair of sneakers, actually four before I left. I'm gonna show you another pair that you will like. If you hate these, you will like the next ones. So I started looking at them. I just came across these and I got them. I haven't worn them yet. Let me look at how precious these shoes are. They have everything I like. They have camo, they have leopard, they have zebra, they have pink. After I tried them on, I see why people don't even lace them up or tie them. They just wear it like this because it's hard to get your whole foot in there. But I love them, I think they're precious. And I'm gonna wear them with probably like my black sweatpants or something like that. I'm gonna do a video on skinny jeans soon because I'm feeling skinny jeans for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I love these. Now they didn't have eight and a half, which I usually size up half in Nike, but the other two pair of sneakers I got, I did size up half. Keep in mind, I don't wear socks. And I think I could have worn my regular eight. So if you wear Nike sneakers, like Air Force One, the Dunks, all those that are popular, will you tell me, do you get your normal size or do you size up half? These fit. I mean, it's not like I can't wear the other ones because it's just a little bit, but these are just cool. I mean, look at that. Then these sneakers are something I've seen before, and I'll be honest with you, I'm very unfamiliar with this designer, but I was on the, is it called the Skylink? That is like the little travel system they have at the other Dallas airport. That thing is like going to an amusement park. It's like going to King's Dominion and riding a roller coaster. I mean, I was having to like hold on. I looked over at a girl and she had these on and she looked so chic and good. I went and sat beside her and I asked her what they are and they're these. So they're the Converse sneakers, but they're the collaboration with, I'm not going to try to pronounce this. I'm sure it's French. They're called the Converse Play and I will link them below. Garçon or something like that. I can't remember. I'm not going to try it, but how cute are they? They come in the high top and they come in black but she had these on. My first instinct would have been black, but I knew how good these looked. And she was kind of a conservative dresser, but it gave her just a little bit of edge and style, and I loved it. These, remember the red ones, which they're kind of like a burgundy color. I showed you a few weeks ago. I mean, guys, these shoes are so comfortable. They're so beautiful. I get compliments every time I wear them. If you wear them with jeans that go down like over them, they look like you have a high heel pump on because they give you this out of the front of your jeans and the little heel. They're not one of those ugly, ridiculous kitten heels that look like they're about to pop off. They're Jeffrey Campbell, so they're not crazy expensive. They're just so good, so good. They're gonna look good with so many things. These will look good with like the Nay biker shorts with a long boyfriend blazer, these and a sweatshirt, so good. Your jeans, just everything. So I am going to stand up. I think I have basically shown you just about everything. I'm gonna show you some clothes that I got and I'll be right back. I just had to take a little break because the lawn service was here and it was loud. I did change clothes into something I wanted to show you. This is just that stretchy, supportive tank from Abercrombie. I have two of them, I love them. And then these are a pair of pants from Anthropology. I ordered these thinking I might take them with me to LTK, but they are listed as lounge pants and they are. They're very thin and comfy and soft, but I don't know if there's enough to them to really wear them as pants. Now I will today because I'm not gonna really go anywhere. I'm gonna wear them around the house to edit this video and maybe run to McDonald's and get a cheeseburger. But they are so pretty. They just are so artsy and elegant looking, I love them. I just think they're so pretty and it is very important to like what you're wearing and to feel good even around the house. Please remember that. The next thing I'm gonna show you is this jacket. I ordered this probably 
six weeks ago, thinking it would be kind of like a dupe for the one from Target that is not available anymore that I wear all the time. This puts that jacket to shame. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous faux fur. It's kind of like shearling with a little bit of tool work in it. It is so much like the one she wears in Sex and the City, which has always been my inspiration. Words can't really tell you how good this jacket is. I hope you can see like the difference in textures, just the weight of it when you put it on. It's serious. Like this is something you can really wear for warmth. I got the size small. And you will see it's plenty big and I just love it. One of my subscribers, Nicole, got this and she loves it too. It is just so good. So this I can't recommend enough and you will be seeing this. I always feel like I get something and I show you and then I'm going to be wearing these things when I do styling videos and then everybody's like, where'd you get that? Give me the link for the jacket and it's sold out. So please, if you like things like this, go ahead and get it. You can always return it. Anthropology is good about that and give it a try. Okay, the dress I was wearing today is this gorgeous dress. Oh my goodness. I did order this for the Like to Know It conference. The exact look I wanted, I just didn't know how it would translate and how I would feel about it in that environment. But you could get married in this dress. It is that good quality. It has the most beautiful weight for a slip dress, which by the way, the red slip dress I wore at Like to Know It from Walmart. When I took that out of the box and bag, I knew right then I was wearing that dress. It is absolutely gorgeous, which I can't believe I haven't ordered the other colors by now. I will do that today. It's beautiful. This is just, oh, it's just so pretty. It's so romantic. It's sexy. It's edgy. It's vibey. It's it's everything that I love. So what I got to go over it because they showed a moto jacket with it in the photo that was not available anymore. I found this one on Forever 21. And I have to say, this is some of my best Forever 21 money ever spent. It's a medium. Honestly, I think I paid like 20 some dollars. I bought my niece a little jacket when I was on there, so I don't know exactly how much it was, but I unzipped the sleeves like you're supposed to do. I kind of turned down the bomber collar and it looks so good with that dress and it's gonna look so good with just all black anything. It would look good with this. It's just one of those things. You're going to hear that from me a lot. Layering is so much fun. It really makes fashion even more fun in the fall and winter than in the summer because of all the layering we can do. This is going to be a good part of that. Then I got this little dress. The girl that does my hair, Morgan, had gone into Express and she saw it on the mannequin. And when she was doing my hair, she said, Lisa, Express has a dress you need. And so I ordered it and it is a slip dress. It is, let me see. Yes, it is lined. It's gold, but it's kind of like that green gold. It reminds me of in Scarface, Al Pacino and Michelle Pfeiffer. It's just those vibes of the 70s and the Vegas and everything. That's what it reminds me of. Would look amazing with a belt and looks amazing underneath the jacket. Will also look good under my oversized blazer, which speaking of, my latest one that I don't think I've formally shown you, I wore this out of town and I tried this on with these pieces. This is the Steven Mizell blazer from his collection from Zara. The size I got is medium and I love it. It's the weight of a designer jacket. I love it. So I did try that on with some of these pieces for you. Then this little piece. Oh, this is so good, you guys. This is a must have. I think all of you need to order this right now if it's not already sold out because this is that piece that can take you anywhere. Can you see down the sleeves? It not only has the cutouts, but it has the chiffon bows or tooling bows. It does have a little bit of a puff on the sleeve just because of the way the seams are. Not too much, but a little bit. Just perfect amount, actually. Good lapel and it does just snap. I got the small. Just think about this over any dress. Think of it with a skirt. 
Think about it with your faux fur. Think about it with your jeans, your ripped jeans, anything, your little mini dress. It's just such a good piece. And for Christmas and the holidays and parties and get togethers in the neighborhood, this would be perfect. And then one of the last pieces I wanted to show you is this little pair of pants I got from Zara. They actually have a matching bomber that goes with this. I wish I would have ordered, so I might do that, but I just wanted to try them on for you so you could see them. I just think they are so pretty. This is an everyday piece to me. Throw this on with a black tank or cami and that matching bomber, and you've got something you can run out to get Starbucks or whatever, Walmart, grocery store, picking up the kids, and you can dress it up a little bit. And it's comfortable just to wear around the house. So love these little pants. Then the last thing I have to show you is some new Dean Davidson. A lot of these things I just opened late last night. So it says, hi Lisa, I hope you love your new Pave pieces. They're made to shine. Oh my God. Look at this little necklace. Oh man, that's another regret. I wish I had taken more jewelry with me and something kind of small to keep on the whole time. That is beautiful. So let me put that on right now. And it is adjustable. And we'll keep it right there for the time being. What's in here? Look at that ring. And I love that it's the white gold because I don't have that much. Oh, look at how pretty that is. I love it. And then there's something else in here. Oh, the little hoop earrings with the tiny pave. And I do have a discount code. Thank you to the Dean team. Thank you to you for being here. And I have so much more to tell you, to show you. I have to share all my pictures. For you carnivores out there, I'll show you every single thing I ate, why I ate it, when I ate it. And I actually, I think I lost a pound while I was out of town. You can't beat that, can you? So have a good weekend. I will be back for sure. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.